Hi, this is second episode of What Machine Learning Can Do. Last episode, we learned about the supervised learning that machine learning learns from the data with the correct answers, which is called, called a label, that allows them to do things like a classification or the prediction. Now, today, we're diving into the unsupervised learning. So if there's un, what does it mean? So it means we train machine learning model with the data that doesn't have the answer, just the data. So let's think about it in this way. I am the machine learning model and there are floating data points over here, 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 and here. And what can I do with these data points? The first thing you can do is clustering. You can group these data into the different cluster that have a similarity. That's called clustering. The second thing you can do is if you see over here, this is the outlier that doesn't belong to any other cluster. It's called anomaly detection. If you ever had a phone call from your credit card company saying, oh, someone attempted to use your credit card, the way they notice this is using the anomaly detection because it doesn't fit into the, your usual pattern of using your credit card. The other example of unsupervised learning is a recommendation system. Have you ever noticed your Spotify started to recommend you chill workout vibe songs? It means the recommendation system have learned your listening habit pattern based on your data. It can be your listening record, it can be your preference settings, or it can also be your behavioral patterns when you're using that platform. One last thing, if you want to learn more about the useful AI concepts, follow me. And if you do have any questions or topics that you want me to cover it, I'm happy to know more about it. Leave comments or message me. Thank you.